Airfields to our right. Right where all the uh, heavy rain is. You guys still flying? Yeah. Yep. Okay. We're not afraid of raindrops. Little raindrops. We're not afraid of raindrops. I am. The one thing is, it does have anti skid. Where is the airport from here? It's, uh. Right there. Airfield? Yeah, I think. Uh, okay. Wait, right, I don't know. I can't see it. Check, check, you got me? Loud and clear, I'm me. I got you, loud and clear. Okay. You said there is, okay, there's a checklist up here. Uh, by your right knee. Yeah. So I'm just gonna go turbo start. Roger. We'll let that start up. Meanwhile, we're gonna leave it open because it's cooler for us. But before we start the engine, we'll close the canopy. That's a good habit to get in. And tailwind, important to know, usually about 10 knots max. Sure. Anything more than that, and the aircraft has a hard time. So if you want to close your canopy, I'll catch your latch for you. Okay. Smash. Go ahead and... Uh, There's the blue button, yeah. yeah. Hold it for about two seconds. And then bring the throttle over the... Uh, so it starts to move, right? Yep, there you go. Three, ten, perfect. Yeah, five, six, thousand, seven, one thousand, eight, thousand. Good. Eight seconds. Nine, one thousand, ten, one thousand, eleven, uh, one thousand, thirteen, one thousand, fourteen, one thousand, fifteen for stable. So that's good. Eight seconds for light off. Uh, fifteen for stable. EGT hit a max of about uh, four eighty. Now you can burn most of those switches on that are over by the generators. Main and emergency, right? Yep. Remember the emergency. Yep. The yep. Emergency. And then uh, inverter, basically. Uh, Essentially all of them. Essentially. Okay. And, and once they show up all the way down, then we can bring it back to take off the lap. Okay. It's indicating I'm going to take off. Those are good, and the timing of those are good. And next we can do the speed brake. Good speed brakes. Back forward. All right. And hydraulic systems look good. They moved good. So that's our flight controls. All right. They can check the emergency brake if you want to. We checked it earlier. It wasn't a problem. Okay. So all you're ready to do then, whenever you're ready to taxi, is you just make sure you squeeze the brake handle so we don't go anywhere, and then uh, disengage and okay. the brake. Cool. And whenever you're ready. And yeah, what was the way that we going to six and two four? Two four. Oh yeah, yeah. Get your feet inside of them. The yeah, typical Russian thing. So when you're upside down, you don't. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. Your feet don't fall out. Finals looking good. Let's use all the runway. Our gear is good. Our flaps are half. Our speed brakes are closed. Our hydraulic pressure is good. We got a full tank of gas. It looks like the rain is to the northwest, so we'll go south. Ready to go. And you're about to get some authority. You got a little bit of crosswind from the left, so you get a little bit of stick in. Nice. Good. Or it might have been a big bug. And through about 135, you go flaps up? No, actually about 140, which right. is close enough. But if you do nothing, they'll come up on their own. Yeah. And that's offset to the south because of the rain. Go to the left, and we'll get away from this stuff. In fact, if we go due south, We'll be okay. okay. So the gear's up, the flaps are up, the aircraft's clean. Can you like climb out 180 or? Uh, 180, 160, actually you can do any of those if you want. We're just gonna, I mean you've got the energy to do it. Throttles forward, feel what she feels like. We're just right now enjoying it for, uh, for flight characteristics. Yep, okay. So the only problem about the south, if we go too far south, there is a ammo area that's a restricted airspace that we can't. Hey. Don't want to go in that. Can we head towards this blue over here on the left? Yep, we can actually work up in this clear airspace right here to the left, yeah. yeah.
So we're uh, approaching 7,000 feet. Everything's looking good. Airspeed's 200, which is good. So basically, in this general airspace, is a pretty good spot, it looks like, as we stay away from the weather. And we're approaching 10,000, which is nice. So let's uh, continue a little bit more climb. Let's go up to about 13. Okay. When we get up uh, up above about uh, 12 or 13,000, we'll be a good spot to let the nose come down and pick up some airspeed. I don't know what hill is aiming right at us, but it's probably, I don't know if it's going to get bigger or smaller, but the hill's in that cloud there. And the last picture was eight minutes ago, so we should get another picture here soon. All right, so we can let the nose start to come down a little bit. And we'll set up for a Cuban 8, so we got to let the nose come down. Let's get at least 320, and we're going to end up pulling straight up, and we're going to pull about 4 Gs. We're just going to blend right into it. Normal traffic, buddy, 960, Golf Sierra. Go ahead and start your pull. Pull, 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 keep pulling right to 4 Gs. Tighten your legs, tighten your butt. Traffic, high drive, keep pulling. 4 Gs, keep pulling. Keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling. Keep pulling, keep pulling. Looking over the shoulder, keep it pulling. Okay, county traffic, here you go. Nice. Nice. Three mile pile, runway 198. Start to blend in the back pressure. Not too much, but blend it in. There you go, start to pull, keep pulling, keep pulling. Oh, you're gonna keep it in. Yeah. Sorry, dude, yeah, my bad. Go ahead and come down, my bad, my bad. Roll it straight and do another one. I'm so hooked on a loop, it's not funny. There you go, start that pull. Airspeed's good, altitude's good. Look how much time you had on the down leg on that one. I'll shut up and enjoy this one. So they're just playing around in between the cells right now. You can go back and put his bonanza up. Just keep going. You're perfect. Just keep coming. Tighten your legs. Tighten your abs. You're going straight up. We're getting a little on the slow side. Gus Miller took the jet for a ride and uh, a little, little precipitation on the way back. Hopefully, you can see to get into the runway. Now relax a little, feel that buffet. Yeah. yeah, that's max performing. So let her relax a little. Right about there, stop it. Now roll, keep rolling, roll, keep rolling. Roll, 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 and stop it. And then just come out of it. And look at this, look at our energy level. We're right on, aren't we? Sweet, huh? Yep. So let's set up for a barrel roll. Now they're going away from the airport at turn 65 knots. I can't tell what they're in, they're at 8,200 feet, 7,500 feet. Alright, so airspeed, we'll still get more airspeed if we can, so let the nose come down. Let's get uh, at least 240, if you can get closer to 300, it really is nice for a barrel roll. Right there, boom, you ready? Sure. You have the aircraft. Okay, my airplane. My airplane. And give me a big old barrel roll. Okay, so you kind of get to about 40 degrees or so and start rolling, or? Yep, yep, yep. And roll slow at first. Okay, now keep rolling though, keep rolling, keep rolling. Roll, roll, roll. And now I'll start to pull the nose back to where we started. There you go. Not bad, not bad at all. Wanna do another one? Okay, let's do another one. Let's do it to the right. Good weather. And they're in it. So that's probably the thick of it. No, no it ain't. Pitch your nose up about uh, a little over, let's go to 30 degrees. About, right there, stop it, and then just roll, keep rolling. Give me two of them. Okay, so don't unload. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Let me do that one more time. <laughs> We're losing a lot of stuff, there's a lot of debris back here. <laughs> let's turn back to the north, really aggressively to the left. Uh, let's do a 180 and put ourselves away from the weather. Now blend in the back pressure so you feel the tickle. Keep blending, keep blending, keep blending. Keep blending. You feel that? Yep. Yeah, relax. Relax. That's the jet telling you, you gotta relax. Yeah. Uh, she definitely talks to you. Yeah, do it again if you want to. There you go, good, right there. Don't do too much more. I'm sorry I stopped you on that. Because if you do too much more, she will fall off. In uncoordinated flight, you could set yourself up for a spin, but they are very stable, these aircraft are. 
be coordinated, she'll just, the nose will just fall off. You want to let it go, if you want to, set it up straight ahead. Slow down again. No idle speed brakes. And let's let it fall off just a little bit more as than we did last time. After she, the and nose wants to make me No, don't roll into bank. Just, no, just let it drop. So you say just yep, just hold it right there. Just hold it. Just hold it. Okay. Just hold it. Hold it, coordinated, hold it, 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 coordinated, 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 hold it. Look at the VSI, okay, relax, and let the nose come down. She is going to fall off on you like this, beautifully. Don't go into a secondary stall. So you see that? You were holding it, the VSI started to decrease, and it just kept going. And if you would have held it there, if she didn't roll off on either side, she would have just continued to settle. That's how stable this aircraft is. And all you have to do is let off back pressure, bring the throttle forward and she's going to start to work her way out of it. Yeah. All right, hopefully the weather's not going to kick our ass as we work our way back. I say that with true confidence, right? Yeah. Because I have the airfield off to our left, I do not have the weather on my iPhone. Gadsden Municipal Airport. Automated weather observation. Two, one, zero, zero, Zulu. Wind, two, five, zero, at, zero, five. Visibility, eight. Thunderstorm, heavy rain. Sky condition, few, three, thousand, three, hundred, scattered. They're still continuing. Temperature, three, one, Celsius. They're continuing on this heading, this direction. Dew point, two, eight, Celsius. Altimeter, two, niner, eight, niner. Remarks, lightning, distant, all quadrants. Density altitude, 2,600. We'll just set up for a visual straight in. Runway 2-4. And uh, call my traffic. We'll probably end up putting it on the ground. If it's coming in slow, which it looks kind of is. So airspeed, do we get below 10,000? 250 knots. Use whatever you need to on the... Uh, like speed brakes. Another way to slow down is if we have the opportunity it would be to pitch the nose up a little, but this is working fine. So let's do a straight in since the storm's coming. So we can get her on the deck before we get beat up by the rains. Badly add is a good one. So we should be able to get on the deck before it hits us, I hope. So one thing is it does have anti-skid, but um, we'll still do a smooth application of the brakes. It, it should not be a relative problem when it comes to slippage. This aircraft is actually fairly stable. Where is the airport from here? It's, uh, hold on, slightly to your left. Right, but do, you, do you see it? Oh, I can't yet, no. Four miles. So the uh, airfield's to our right. Right where all the uh, heavy rain is? Or right oh. o'clock. Well, let's, yeah, let's see what we're up against. Do you, do you see it right there? Airfield? Yeah, I think this is it right here, isn't it? I'm or, looking. I can't see it, unfortunately. Or, oh, okay. Wait, or is it a little further? Move to the final. They're, 3, They're on final at 3,400 feet. Get watching. Yep, if we can't do it, we can't. We'll go somewhere else. Yeah. Uh. Yep, let's, let's go uh, elsewhere. So we've got enough gas. We've got four and a half. I'll start looking at the alternate plans. And we tried, but it should happen. So what I'd rather do is go to the... When we hook back around, we'll go to the north. Uh, they need a long runway, so... And they, they need clear weather. So there's a couple of little runways uh, that might be long enough. And we'll go to... Let's see, 45, we got 40 minutes worth of flying. So go ahead and let's see if we can climb back above some of this stuff. And we might go to, if we can, let's see if I can. It's 60 miles to Mike Delta Quebec. And that actually looks good. So and that's, like, which direction is that, north? It is. Okay. Are you, uh, looking, at the, are you looking at the next round? Uh, I am actually just looking at four flight right at the moment. They might be going to Huntsville exec. That runway is... 6,500 feet. Do you have the weather on there, though? I do. Okay. I do. So we're going to split the gap. So as we go around that cell to our left, well, it's almost a left 90. Stay below it for right now. 
Yeah. Stay below the weather for right now. It'll give us a little essay on where it is. You can start your next turn to the left. And the heading is... Uh, Sorry, heading is what? The heading is... Now by one. I mean, the other side, is there anything off to the east? Because that looks real clear that direction. It does, but I don't have any good field for okay. the east currently. I'm looking as quickly as I can. I'm going to shoot for this bright area in the sky up over here. All right. Okay, we can get above it. That's fine. But I do know for a fact that uh, that Mike Delta Quebec is clear and a good field. Okay. Oh, you know what? Actually, here, look at this off to the left. What do you think of that? Just yep. cut that gap? Yeah. Go back that way. Hold on. Okay. Anything else that you And if we do, you know, if we go below the weather, you don't have to worry about the crap that we have to fight with, with the yeah. instruments. So it might be better for you on the VFR side of the house. Yeah, let me just see, because I, I had a nice, yeah, this, this little gap, you see this up here? I do. I do. You can shoot that gap straight ahead, That's climb good. a little bit. Yep, give it a try. Looking at the weather, it looks like it is a good gap. We've got uh, the strongest one is to our left, and the lesser storm is to our right. Okay. And so right now we got 45 minutes on the uh, clock, which is good. If you bring it up on your Garmin, it's Kilo Mike Delta Quebec. I'm looking for traffic, too, at the same time. Is that Huntsville Executive? It is. I was just there a couple days ago. Okay. Is that better than Huntsville International? It is. They got great service. The runway's awesome. The field works out really well. We tried. That storm came in too fast. It's a big one, too. Yeah. I'm going to love ride in this thing through this. I can't even imagine what this would be like right now in the Bonanza. Roger that. It'd be pretty bad. This aircraft's nice and stable, relatively speaking. So right now it's about uh, 54 miles off the nose. So the AWOS is 120.0. And the CTAP is 123.0. And approach, if we wanted to, is 125.6. What do you show as time to get there? Uh, nine and a half minutes. Nine, nine and a half or five and a half? Nine. nine. Oh, okay. Cool. So basically 10 minutes, not bad at all. And we got 40 minutes for the fuel, so Huntsville, Executive Airport, automatic weather observation. Two, one, one, three, Zulu. Weather, wind, two, five, zero, at six, visibility, one, zero, three, thousand, seven, hundred, scattered, four, thousand, seven, hundred, scattered. Temperature, three, four, Celsius, dew point, two, five, Altimeter, two, niner, eight, niner. Density, altitude, three, two, zero, zero. And I got the airport here. Uh, CTAP's 23 zero, right? Correct. What do you like to be uh, in the brake at for airspeed? Uh, you can do 220 if you want. Speed yep. brake now. You can go to idle, yeah. And speed brake, you may not need it really much right this moment. So you can put it in if you don't want to. Because it's slowing down nicely right now. But you're fine. It's one of those, this is 50-50 right now. Because you can use it however you want. But if I was at 220, I would have, yeah, definitely. So stay up at the altitude. Right, about 2,000 feet. Yep. But the wing tip on the runway is our good spacing. You can put the gear down anytime. Get the airspeed up, bring it slow. Put the speed brakes closed if you want to help yourself out. And put the gear, bring the gear, perfect. If you want to, right here, you can go uh, flaps to half. To land, yep, land. Oh. So you got three green, you got flaps to half, you got hydraulics are good. Speed brakes are, you know, it's up to you. If you want to use them, you don't have to, you can. And I'd start my turn to right about, yeah. So we said 135 uh, in the turn, and 120 about on final. So, well, yeah, we'll talk about lineups. So right now you got three green, you got uh, flaps to full, speed brakes are out, hydraulics are good, 120 knots on final, and let's shoot for just past the six, as far as landing distance. Don't pull it too far back yet, because remember it takes a while to spool up, but you're doing great. There you go, go idle and round it out, sweet. Hold it, hold it, hold it, it's done. Hold it up, hold it up, hold it up, hold it up, hold it up. 
hold it up, do a little flare, okay, and then go ahead and let it down. A little pressure forward on the stick, and then go ahead and do just a gentle brake check. Yeah, they work, don't they? Yeah. And now when we're here, we can smoothly, there's no rush, we'll go all the way to the end. Brakes are expensive. At 2,000 feet to go, you're doing great, it's perfect. All right, well, our first weather, weather divert in the L39. Yeah, not too bad. <laughs> ADSP. Huh. Oh, hey, buddy. How's it going? Good, how are you? Uh, pretty good, yeah, I just wanted to get the, the next sortie as well, so I thought we'd come up over here. That sounds like something you do. Uh, how much paint's still on the wing? Oh, all of it. Okay. Uh, how much gas did you uh, land with there in Huntsville? Oh, uh, 35. Okay, so you, you testing yeah. the minimums too, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, I'm just getting a little bit of everything. Cool, how do you feel? Yeah. Good. What did yeah, you think of your first flight? It was good. I like it. It's, it's a pretty nice airplane, isn't it? Yeah. We were just sitting on the ground. You guys missed a hell of a storm over here. It's uh, It was rough. We avoided it on purpose. Yeah. Well, I hope the Bonanza's okay. Is it still outside? No, we put it away for you. Actually, some of this was already loose. Some of it was before yeah. we flew, but yeah, we were doing. Um, we were doing. Flight, 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 moderate, maybe 180. Yeah. And then we just turned away and said, "Nope, we're not doing it." Yeah. 